that course, led yeah. me into my next question for Mr. Ledger. Um, how, how did you get all these fantastic parts you've been lately going through? Brokeback Mountain and um, Monster's Ball and, and Brothers Grimm. I thought you were really terrific in that. And all these incredible films you're making lately. Um, Do you have a nail. really good agent? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I, um, I, uh, it took a while to get to a place where I finally kind of destroyed my career to, to you know, took the shine off this predetermined path that had been offered to me. And, and finally, as a result of that, it was a little hard to get, to get jobs. And then Terry Gilliam put his hand up and said, you're a little crazy. I'd like to work with you. And, you know, he was the one person who didn't tell me to sit on my hands. And he let me kind of go like this. And, uh, and then from there, after he kind of, you know, gave me the stamp of approval, uh, other people, you know, m more interesting choices started to open up, like choices that I've been looking for and, you know, striving for. And, and um, so I just kind of went for it. And that, but that was a while ago. That was over a year ago now. And I, I did, you know, I, I did work hard for that time. I did like five films kind of back to back, ending on candy. And um, I don't know. I, I, I was boring myself before. And the choices I was making was, was boring myself too. And so I kind of wanted to make it more interesting for myself and, and uh, more challenging. And I wanted to learn more about life and myself. And the only way to do that is to kind of frighten yourself. For me, it was seeing Heath in uh, Monsters Ball, like that performance of such vulnerability and um, uh, just this beautiful, sort of damaged creature that he that he that he gave us. And um, it was straight after actually Luke. Sh I, s I watched the the first twenty minutes of the film in Luke's um, lounge room, and um, and um, then we we sent the script straight away to Heath. <laughs> Hi, um, Helen, Helen from Coogee, Sydney, Australia. <laughs> um, I've actually, this is my 15th Berlin Festival and everyone's asking me all about you. So, Neil Armfield, you are absolutely one of the best theatre directors. Would you describe yourself as the Australian Sam Mendes, as, um, <laughs> I, I, which is what I can come up with. Is this your American beauty? Um, Abby, um, people are saying you might win the best actress here. If not, you'll be uh, in America in no t very soon making films in Hollywood or you should be. How do you feel about that? And Margaret Fink, why did you bring the film here um, rather than Sundance? Uh, I'll take the first one. The, um, uh, look, I've worked, I've worked for uh, 25 years in the theatre. Um, I've had occasional... Um, jumps into, into film. Margaret gave me an opportunity in 1988, which uh, we succeeded with, with, uh, with great pleasure. And uh, we've been looking for a project ever since. Um, the working in the, working the theatre and like every actor in the, in the film, apart from <laughs> Heath and Abby, um, are theatre actors that I've, uh, that I've worked with. And um, uh, like particularly with Geoffrey, um, We've, we've worked uh, for 20 years together. Um, it's, just, it's just another form of st storytelling. It's, um, um, and, uh, and for me, it was, waiting, it was waiting for the appropriate moment to, uh, and for the right idea of a film. And partly it was that this film was so internal uh, and, so, and so much a study of a, of a particular relationship that it couldn't be um, a piece of theatre that made me particularly attracted to this story that um, comparisons are odorous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, uh, I feel extremely blessed to be a part of, of uh, filmmaking and to be here tonight is amazing feeling, you know, um, to have worked with Heath, to have worked with Neil, you know, um, it's, it really affirms for me that the, the choice that I made when I started in this industry, which was actually very, m very much by chance. Um, the first day I spent on set, I don't even know how I got there, to tell you the truth. And uh, I remember the first day on set, I completely fell in love with acting. And I couldn't believe, I was 15, and uh, I played a quadriplegic in a, in a children's hospital series. And so I had to, all I had to do was move my, my, from my head, you know, my shoulders up, I just had to move my head and say a few words and I couldn't believe how unbelievably fun the day was. I had, a, <laughs> I had a wheelchair that I could zoom around in. I wasn't meant to zoom around in it, but, you know, as soon as no one would look, I'd... And 
And, uh, you know, there was amazing people I could talk to all day long. I remember calling my mum on the phone. And uh, I said, Mum, I said, this is so much fun, you know. I, I can't believe it. Can I, do you reckon I can do this? I can do more of this? Do you think that maybe I, I can get more days off school and come and do this? And mum just, mum just said, you know, you do whatever you want. I, you know, I'm there to support you. And so I feel very blessed that I, I did somehow end up on a set. And uh, I feel really blessed that I'm here today and I'm very grateful for it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mark, go. <laughs> Why did you bring the film to Berlin? And not, oh. and not Sundance. Well, where could be better than Berlin? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. The next Would have got a better response than that, wouldn't you have thought? <laughs> Fine. Um, next question, please. Hi, I'm Mary Vinga from Currents Magazine in Hamburg, and I have a question for Mr. Ledger. You've played a knight in shining armor, and Casanova, and a junkie, and a gay cowboy. And I'm wondering which character you identify with most, or which is the closest to your true self. Um, all of them, actually, because um, they're all people. I can I can genuinely identify with everyone. I can somehow identify with George Bush, you know, oh, no. if I had to. Oh. No, I, I really can. I, I can find I, f I can find a way to be sympathetic towards any person. I can I can figure them out. I can understand them enough to play them and, and love them as human beings. I as can. Um, so so really all all of them. I, I know how to breathe, and so do they. And so that's at least one way I can relate to them. And so therefore I do relate to them because they're people, you know. Uh, other I don't. I, I don't know. I, there's not one particular role. It's me, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Next question on the right, please. <laughs> Hi, I'm Catherine.